welcome to this mini yoga philosophy video. We are going to be exploring the third of the yamas, which is the practice of asaya. Asaya translates to mean non-stealing. And initially when we hear that, we think, yeah, we know it's like wrong to, to steal things physically. But like we're starting to maybe see a theme here, it's so much more than that. And we can really start to think of it as non-stealing of so many other things non-stealing of our time, non-stealing of our energy, non-stealing of other people's time and other people's energy, and also non-stealing of the time and energy of life. So if we think of it in a personal practice, we can think of it as the times where we self-sabotage, where we waste our time, where we spend too much time in the past, or we spend too much time thinking about the future. It's really taking us from our present moment. And so instead, if we are experiencing that, if we're feeling anxious, if we're really caught up in our past, or if we're really thinking too much about the future that hasn't happened yet, addressing that, thinking, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste and let any more time and energy be stolen from me. I'm gonna take that power back. I'm gonna take responsibility. Because this responsibility is a really liberating thing when we see it through that lens and actually then think, okay, how can I then show up in a way that isn't then stealing of my two most precious resources, which is your time and your energy. We can also then start to think of being mindful of who and what we expose our time and energy to, and being really mindful of those mood hoovers, those energy vampires, and just kind of thinking of how do you want to share and spend your time and your energy? Where is it being stolen from you instead? Where can it nurture you and help you thrive in this world instead? It can then help us as well reflect on habits that we have. Maybe there's some bad habits that we've picked up on. Maybe you are wasting your time by spending too much time on Instagram, for example, or just doing something that doesn't really light you up. I think with anything, like if you are intentionally doing something, then that's not stealing of your time and energy, but just be mindful of where you're maybe leaking out, where you're not aware of. Where are you saying things like, I don't have time? And instead, can you think, right, I haven't got time, but where can I then maybe change things around so that I do have time to welcome the things that I want to do in life? The practice of a stay can be done then with others when we are respectful of their time and energy, where we follow through with plans, where we show up on time, where we're not too early, where we're not too late. And again, just being really present when you're talking with somebody, you know, not maybe like just checking your phone or, you know, being too busy and nosy looking around, but being mindful, being present, being with that person. It's an exchange of energy. And even if it's not in real life, if it's online, if someone's messaged you, if someone's sent you an email, they've taken that time to share their energy. And can you be then respectful in that and really value then people's time and energy? And then we can apply then this practice when we think of to life itself. We know life is short and life is precious and life is brief. We know that life is passing us by, but are we living from that place? Are we truly living our lives or are, are we just doing all the time? Are our lives just passing us by? Another year goes by, we wait until Monday, we wait until the next month, we wait until the new year to set New Year's resolutions. If that's not a respect of life itself, like time to make changes now rather than waiting as well. And you have that within you, that power to direct your energy and your time in a way that is in alignment with you. How do you want to live your life and you know, grab it by the reins and, and take that action and believe in yourself that you can do that? I love the, coming back to the quote, that access to time and energy is a privilege and we can apply that to ourselves. Access to my time and energy is a privilege. Access to your time and energy is a privilege. And access to the time and energy of life is a privilege. It's a gift. And this is not about toxic positivity. This isn't about us just seeing, um, you know, being grateful for everything in life because there's so much gratitude that we can experience, but then there's also things in life that are causing us suffering. And... Yes, we can still experience that, but we can still practice gratitude as well. There is space for both to exist. If there's something you don't like about your life, then make a change. You absolutely can do that. So thank you so much for joining me for this video and dipping your toe into the practice of a stayer. And I really hope it inspires you to dive in that bit deeper and really explore this ocean of yoga philosophy that there is out there.